Good afternoon. I'm Lauren. And I'm Manny. And welcome, welcome back, back to, to The, the Big, Big Show. Show. Students, want to support a good cause and get something cool to wear as well? Please talk to Courtney or Denisha at lunch on Thursdays or Fridays or during advisory to purchase a friendship bracelet from the Philippine Islands. 40% of Filipino people live below the poverty line. The proceeds from these sales go to giving people a dignified income. Bracelets are only $2, and you can see Courtney Sharp or Denisha Banks to purchase a bracelet for yourself or for a friend. On February 3, from 8 to 10, the high school will be having their snow coming at Baker Lofts. Tomorrow for lunch, we have chicken enchilada, southwest refried beans, flame roasted sweet potatoes. Before we go, we have some informational videos for you from our broadcast team. Does the FCC's decision to repeal net neutrality spell the end for the internet? Well first let's find out what net neutrality actually is. Net neutrality is the idea that all data must be treated equally and that ISPs cannot block or discriminate from any of this data. This includes videos, pictures, or any of your streaming websites. ISPs are companies like Charter or Verizon or AT&T. With net neutrality gone, ISPs could decide which companies succeed or which fail. ISPs can block or slow down traffic on any competing websites. ISPs can make sites slower than others if they please. The point of slowing down the company is to make sure that the site pays more for a faster premium site. Many speculate that the premium charge will get pushed down to the site users. This could mean paying for apps that were free, like Instagram or Snapchat, just to be able to use them efficiently. Without net neutrality, ISPs could also censor any content that they would like to. But now let's talk about the mastermind behind all of this. Ajit Pai the head of the FCC. The Federal Communications Commission or FCC is an independent government agency responsible for regulating radio, television, and phone industries. The FCC is behind the decision to repeal net neutrality. Ajit Pai is suggesting that with the new money coming into the ISPs they could build a new infrastructure which would create better broadband for everybody. But the public is not happy. The only people that seem happy with net neutrality rules being repealed are big internet service providers like Charter and Verizon. They benefit greatly from being able to charge more companies a higher price for premium internet service. Those who are more likely to be affected are small startup companies and average internet consumers. Big companies will push the premium price onto the internet consumer, which will make them pay more for free services. The list that is currently going down the screen is a list of small startup companies that oppose repealing net neutrality rules. As you can see, it is a very, very long list. But the FCC is not listening to public outcry they are continuing with repealing net neutrality. On December 14 of 2017, the FCC voted to repeal net neutrality in a 3-2 vote. But this will not go unchallenged. Several public interest groups such as the Internet Association, a trade group that represents big tech firms such as Google and Facebook, said it was also considering legal action. Alongside Public Knowledge and National Hispanic Media Coalition, not everyone on the FCC board decided to abandon net neutrality. Board member Minion Clyborn decided to protect net neutrality and keep the wishes of millions of Americans in her interest. So now, what can you do to help reinstate net neutrality? You can start by simply raising awareness and telling everybody what net neutrality is and what's going on with it. Then you can go to www.battleforthenet.com. There you can write and call your congress and tell them that you want them to support net neutrality. Also there are more helpful and informational videos that will get your friends engaged in the net neutrality movement. So finally, please help save net neutrality and contribute your part for free internet. Thank you. Everybody loves laying out in the warm sun to get beautiful bronzed skin. But what people don't know is the real damage that the sun can cause. Millions of people tan, but don't actually know what tanning is or what it can do to their body. Tanning is an increase in skin pigments. Pigments are known as melanin, and melanocyte cells found in our skin produce melanin. Our skin produces melanin as a natural protector against harmful ultraviolet radiation, or UV rays. But when our skin is exposed to UV rays, our skin produces more melanin to try and protect our skin further. The more the skin produces pigment, the darker our skin gets, or as people say, tanner. But getting tan doesn't ultimately protect your skin.
Many people, when exposed to too much UV rays, will turn red. A burn is a visible skin damage that is short-term. UV rays damage the cells in your skin, and because something harmful is happening to the body, the immune system steps in to help by signaling more blood flow to the affected area. The increase of blood in the affected area is what causes the skin to look red. But you also can't tell you have a sunburn until hours after exposure, because the skin needs to process and develop the effects from the UV rays. Being exposed to too much UV rays can cause spots, pre-aging, or wrinkles, eye damage, and skin cancer. Skin cancer happens when ultraviolet radiation damages the DNA found in our skin. UV rays cause a trigger in mutations which causes skin cells to form tumors. Skin cancer is also diseased tissue and cells that begin to grow abnormally. Most people think that only people with fair skin can get skin cancer, but that's not true. Anyone of any skin color can get skin cancer. People with fair skin just have less melanin to protect their skin. The most common kind of skin cancer is basal cell cancer, or BCC. This kind of cancer is curable and not as serious as other cancers. It is also most commonly to be on the face, and like any other skin cancer, it is caused by too much exposure to sunlight or ultraviolet radiation. Basal cell tumors are usually shiny small bumps that appear on the face, but can be also found on other parts of your body. These tumors grow slowly and show up after long-term exposure to the sun. Another very common kind of skin cancer is squamous cell carcinoma. It is called squamous cell carcinoma because it is damaged to the squamous tissue found in the epidermis, which is the first layer of the skin. Squamous tumors often look like warts and open sores. They may also look crusty and could bleed. The most dangerous kind of skin cancer is malignant melanoma. It is less common, but more harmful. If melanoma is in the later stages, it is harmful enough to kill you. Melanoma can be cured if treated early, but if it is not recognized, it can spread to other parts of the body and worsen. If the cancer spreads, it can be hard to remove. The Skin Cancer Foundation says to watch for irregular spots. They say most spots that are not symmetrical could be malignant and a warning sign for melanoma. If you notice any unusual spots on your skin, consult a physician or a dermatologist right away. The best way to help protect your skin is to wear sunscreen and to reapply every few hours. You might just buy the cheapest sunscreen because others are way too expensive, but you should consider buying sunscreen that has these factors. Dermatologists recommend sunscreen with an SPF of 30. Also, choose a sunscreen that is broad spectrum. It protects against both UVB rays and UVA rays which both cause damage to the skin. And if you didn't know, SPF stands for Sun Protectant Factor. Some wonder, is there a way to tan safely without damaging the skin? There is no real way to tan safely because there is always a risk, but the skin may darken slightly over time with the use of sunscreen. If you would still like to get the look of bronze skin, dermatologists recommend to use self-tanners because it causes no UV damage to the skin. Self-tanners are quick and easy and can look great if done correctly. That's, That's all we have, we have for you today. today. See, See you next week, Colin Early College. college.